Hey, fine scale modelers and scale auto readers. Uh, how many of us have built Revell kits? I bet you just about all of us have built Revell kits, right? And we see in those Revell, in the instructions, oftentimes Revell kits list Revell paints, right? And they've got the paint colors and the numbers that go along with those paints. Well, guess what? Starting in June of this year, and then in August, Revell will have Revell paints available in Canada and then the US. And that includes enamels, acrylics, and acrylic lacquers. Not only that, but Revell is also bringing in a full line of supplies as well. But what I really want to do is come back over here and talk about the paints first. So we've got the enamels over here, right? And you'll take a look at these, uh, these little enamel tins. They probably, well, for some of you, they probably remind you of Humbrol tins. Absolutely. Yeah, is that? Yeah. That's what they remind me of. But those are the, the enamels. And with the enamels, we've also got the thinner specifically formulated for these enamels and then the cleaner for the enamels. Then, obviously, we have to have acrylic paints. So we've got these acrylic paints here from Revell and just like with, with the enamels, we also have thinner and cleaner. Now, obviously, acrylic paints are also water soluble, but these are specially formulated for these paints. Now, let's just take a second here to, to talk about these. We said this package here, this, this container looks a lot like the, uh, the Humbrol tins. I think these are really neat because um, it's, a unique, it's a unique package. Um, hard to tip over, right? Hard to tip over. But you might be, oh, let me, you might be used to seeing your, your acrylics showing up in, in a bottle that looks like that. Well, when, with this kind of jar, there's a neat, neat little feature here that Revell has, has thought of. And that is, they just press fit, right? They just press fit to go back together, but you twist it off, and then there's this little pallet in the cap, a little reservoir, and what you can do then is put them together. You can put your brush in, you can decant, paint right down into this palette, whatever you need, and you can mix right, uh, right, right there with the jar. When you're all finished, just work the lid out, and then, as I said, the lid just press fits right back on top. Just make sure that you clean the rim and that there isn't too much residue on that, on that palette, on the lid, and that gives you a nice, firm um, and solid seal. So that's kind of cool. Then I just want to come over here. We've got the, the uh, acrylic lacquers. Now with both the, the acrylics and the acrylic lacquers, they come with uh, basic color, which is going to be your primer. Okay. And then while the colors that are available in both the enamels and the acrylics are complete, uh, complete crossover, um, there are fewer of those, of those colors um, in, the, in the acrylic lacquer line. Just the, what they're concentrating more on are the you know, tip of the waves, the high points that you, would, that you would use for these. And then the more complete the more complete line of colors are with the enamels and the acrylics. Now, one of the other cool things about all three of these lines is remember we were talking about how the, the paint colors, they appear in, in the, the instructions for Revell kits, right? So let's say a kit says that it wants you to use aluminum. Well, we find aluminum here in the enamel, what we're going to see is that this aluminum color is 99. Now, 321 three, indicates that it's an enamel, but the color itself is 99. If I want to use enamel, all I got to remember is that it's 99. 
if I want to use acrylic, all I have to remember is that it's 99. If I want to use the acrylic lacquer, all I have to remember is that it's number 99. All right, so what's really cool is that those number colors run across and are common through all three of the different paint lines. And that's a really cool feature and it simplifies finding those colors for you. Now, um, I wanna just touch on the supplies that are coming in. <clears throat> there are three different, uh, three different kinds of glue. There's a gel, then there is the professional glue, which has a precision metal tip for application. And then there is also a jar of thin cement as well. We have masking tape. We have putty. They're going to be bringing in hobby knives and cutters. And then, of course, they have a range of brushes going from, see here, going from quintuple aught all the way up to number three. So, Ravel is bringing it with the hobby supplies into North America. Like I said, it should be available around June for Canada and then in August for the US. Um, what I really want you to do is keep an eye out in both Scale Auto Magazine and in Fine Scale Modeler Magazine for a review of the paints. That's coming up later this year. I think, is that about it, Aaron? I think so. All right. I think so. Well, you know what? Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you around. Be safe out there.